I'm Lee Goldman. I'm the Dean of the Faculties of Health Sciences and Medicine at Columbia University. The first time I came across Cecil Medicine was when I was a medical student and then an intern uh, looking for a comprehensive medical textbook. Uh, and uh, I looked at the options at the time and chose Cecil. It was what I used to help uh, prepare myself for part three of the boards when I was uh, a medical resident, to prepare me for uh, the internal medicine boards. Uh, I always found it to be uh, authoritative, comprehensive, yet understandable. During my time as editor, uh, now four editions, uh, we've tried to preserve and even enhance what I would say are the historic attributes of Cecil. It's uh, fundamental dedication to the biological basis of disease and using that as a cornerstone for diagnosis and therapy. But during my time as editor, we've put a lot more emphasis on practical guides to diagnosis, including flow diagrams and algorithms, and also a major emphasis on treatment uh, with uh, evidence-based treatments, uh, specific references to the key randomized trials, so that Cecil can be as comprehensive and authoritative in diagnosis and treatment now as it has been in pathophysiology uh, now for uh, about 90 years. With each edition, there obviously are a variety of what I'll call updates and upgrades. Uh, we take great pride in the fact that both in the written edition, but also in the electronic version, Cecil is continuously updated. Uh, so the time lag between something being discovered and it's being incorporated into the book is only a matter of months. And we try to do that consistent with the theme of the book. So if new information comes out, we right away put it in perspective of the old information. Uh, some books will have updates where the update is longer than all the old information. Um, we think we should put it into context and uh, feel very good about the way we do that. I would say the second thing is the, the graphics. Uh, no matter who we are, uh, no matter what kind of information we're trying to get, the way the information is presented uh, visually uh, makes a huge difference. And so we've spent a lot of time and effort making Cecil uh, colorful, visually appealing. I like to think of it as uh, uh, the graphics of scientific medicine uh, with the content of the Encyclopedia Britannica. Um, that may seem like uh, two things that can't possibly coexist. We really want it to be user-friendly, uh, visually appealing, uh, easy to read and practical on the one hand, and also be, on the other hand, uh, the place to get the most definitive information. So CISO is really geared toward everyone from uh, a medical student on a clinical rotation uh, to someone who's been in practice for years or even decades. Uh, we want it to be a blend of the scientific basis of medicine with the practical aspects of being a doctor. For any book, to continue to be successful, we need to have uh, input from our readers. Uh, much of what we've done over the past four editions uh, with Cecil is based on that kind of input. Uh, we look forward to hearing from our readers, uh, hearing from people even who don't buy the book but like something else better, uh, because that's how we'll make it better in the future. And uh, we're very much committed to making Cecil uh, the one reference source uh, for people in internal medicine.